by YouTube. I'm gonna be showing you, you know, the NWT YY Macro Guide. I'm gonna slow it down. There's a few different methods this year, I guess, since now they have the game on Steam. It's a little bit different. You can actually YY Macro using the Steam like overlay. As long as you enable your controller on Steam, you go in here, enable it. I use a PlayStation controller. So, you know, I just click enable here. And then I went into like the controller option and I literally just click search and I search YY. So the way how this version works is it has Y, you know, triangle as a macro. So I click it once. So I click it once in the YYs, but uh, it's not really that consistent. Like it messes up a lot. And uh, if I hold it, I'll just continue YY. You know, this works on like any controller really because it seemed like overlay works with like all controllers. So you could use this one. This is not the one I'm gonna be showing. I'm obviously gonna show DS4. I might make a ReWise D tutorial strictly for Xbox. And on this uh, profile, it's uh, when you press the touchpad, it's like regular Y. So if it does fuck up, you can just press, you know, the touchpad. Yeah, personally, I don't think like, if it just messes up and you end up pulling out your, like, your, your pistol, like what are you about to do? Like, I'm gonna be showing you, you know, the DS4, the DS4 version. So first I'm gonna download DS4, get all the drivers installed and all that, and then, you know, continue with the tutorial. So I'm just gonna search up DS4. If you search up DS4 Windows, do Google, click the first link, it'll bring you to this website, just click download. And then I'm just gonna drag this to my desktop and then you'll have this folder and you wanna click the .exe, like the, the blue slash pink icon. It's gonna ask you where you install, it doesn't really matter. And then it's gonna not ask you to enable like certain devices. You know, I have a PS5, so I'm gonna put DualSense device support, but there's no like Xbox support for DS4. So if you have an Xbox controller, you cannot use this method. It's also gonna say this, that you're gonna need to install .NET. Just click the link. I'm not trying to sound like a dickhead, but it, like it literally tells you what to do. It says it will require the installation. You just wanna click the link, uh, bring it to this website. Uh, it might auto download it. And if it doesn't, you just click here and click install, install, yes. And then once it's done, you'd restart the profile. You just restart DS4 Windows, but I already have it installed. So, you know, I don't really need that. And when you first log in, it's going to, it's going to show you this window, this uh, install VGI Me bus driver. Just install it. Just click next, blah, blah, blah. I already have it installed, obviously. And then once you're done, you click finish, click finish here. If this still doesn't work for your, you know, PlayStation controller, just restart your PC. Other than that, I don't really know what to tell you, but uh, you just click start. And um, if you still have Steam open, it's going to like really struggle. Like you see when it plugs in, it's going to go like light blue, like Steam, and then it's going to go blue. Like uh, it's kind of going to, it's going to interfere. So you need to open your Steam and disable the Steam input. Just go to Steam, settings, controller. And then for whatever controller, just click not enabled. Uh, you can still use your controller in game without DS4, but like whenever you use DS4, it's going to load up like this. Make sure it's on emulated controller Xbox 360. When it comes to settings, I'll think I'll do another video on that. I don't know. It's pretty much the same settings as before. You want to go to whichever key you're going to put your macro. I would either recommend upper touch button, something on your D-pad or like the share button. Do not put it on triangle and then complain that you can't switch weapons. If you put it on triangle, you won't be able to switch weapons normally. I like to use left stick, so I'm going to use left stick. And I'm going to click record a macro. Uh, it's going to bring up this window. I'm gonna click record delays and then I'm gonna press record. And I'm gonna go on my controller and just type, press YY like twice. Click stop. And uh, this is pretty much the YY macro. And uh, I'm just gonna change the delay to 30 seconds each. Uh, so that I like to use. I feel like this is good. It doesn't like pull out your pistol. And I like to keep mine on play once because it will never mess up if you have it on play once whenever i press my left stick is yy's you see it shows us like pressing the yy button twice let's see i don't know if you want proof or something but left stick you know it's clearly yy and um i like this version it just doesn't look like you're spamming it it doesn't look like od and um you know what i'm saying like, i i don't know what to like say about it i like this one a lot better and it only messes up if you like click really fast. So you see like it went to the pistol there. But uh, if you at least you just click there, you know, you time it, you won't ever mess up. Uh, that's how I always use it. If I go back and I set it on, I go back into the macro and I set this on repeat while held, I click save, click apply. 
Uh, now when I tap it, it has a lot higher chance to mess up. I mean, obviously it hasn't right now, but. And uh, it kind of just like, this game kind of has trouble, like when you have it spammed, I don't know. It makes it look like super ugly. So I recommend just keeping on like, you know, repeat, sorry, play it once and then you'll probably be good. This is repeat while held. I don't know, it starts kind of glitching out when you have like tax sprint. So I'll just tap it. But if you tap it, it does have a chance to mess up. So just keep that in mind. I feel like that's pretty much the video. I get a lot of questions asking me to do like uh, slide can like a whole bunch of other like macros, I guess. I feel like I pretty much showed you everything, like the record a macro button. Like you can literally click record delays and then just like do whatever you want. And then, you know, just have that on a button. I use it on the YY macro because, you know, the YY macro isn't really cheating. It doesn't like, uh, it doesn't give you any like added benefit. It just looks cool. And uh, anyone who like tells you otherwise is kind of brain dead, I won't lie. Um, DS4 Windows is not bannable. Uh, a bunch of streamers use it. And I know for a while there was this thing about like gyro support being like kind of like bannable, kind of being cheesy. I never used it. I don't think like a lot of people actually used it. And Warzone added their own gyro support into the game anyway. So like, I don't think it's that big of a deal anymore. Uh, other than that, you can kind of just change settings in DS4 Windows. You know, I have my other, you know, DS4 Windows best settings video. I'll probably just remake another one, you know, just for like old time's sake, I guess. I don't know. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. Uh, comment down below, like what type of Call of Duty video you want next. You know, it's kind of been a while. I don't know if like people still watch my videos for like Call of Duty. I still have Call of Duty videos. But uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.